Hi you guys, this is Deep One X here. I'm just gonna show you guys how to install Third Age Total War for Medieval 2 Total War. Um, I know there's a lot more videos out here, but I'm just gonna show you how I like to do it. So basically, you go to Google Chrome or any type of browser you have, yes, any will do. I recommend uh, Google Chrome though, as I know it works. Okay, and now what you want to do is you want to go to Mod DB. There is a lot more a uh, place where you can get this mod, but I 100% know mod db works, so that's what I'm going to use for this, but you can use other things. Okay. I will leave a link to this in the uh, description, so you can always look from here. Okay, so you will click this mod part here, as soon as you've clicked that, um, click go to game, you can scroll down, or if you just click the letter M, it will automatically go to the M section, it's alphabetical order. Okay, so now you just gotta keep looking, and you'll see Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms. You don't want Medieval 2 Total War, as that is um, not compatible with 3rd Age Total War, Total War Kingdoms. And just to remind you, you do need Total War Kingdoms. So if you do have Total War, you will not be able to install You need Kingdoms. I don't know if that has changed for this mod, because there has been the EXE involved, but I'm pretty sure you still need Kingdoms, so... Um, I recommend getting it just in case, but I'm not sure. So yeah, but it's always in the kingdoms file. So you gotta click there, and third age to all I would write in. So you write third there. So third age reforged. You don't want that. You want this one here. Third age to all. Like I said, I will leave a link for this in the description. Okay, so here you have all the things. You know, you can have a little read about all these. All the factions. You probably already know this, but okay. So we're gonna head to files. So once we're in files, you'll see part 1 and part 2. So what we want to do is click download part 1. And then click download now. I'm not going to do this as I already have them installed. And then part 2. And you need the 3.2 patch. There's a lot of bugs that are in the 3.0. Get the 3.2 patch as you need it for DLCs. Which I will be doing another video on. So yes, install these. Now put them anywhere you like. I like to group mine in a folder. So if you just uh, come over here in my total war folder. I have third age normal here. Yeah. Now here's all here is all the files. So forget about this, you will not get this. It's only because I've reinstalled it. Okay. So now you want to do is uh do part one or two. So just wait for this. It can take quite a while as it is a big installation, but third part two shouldn't take that long, but um part two does take quite a bit long. But please wait. Okay? It just does take a bit of time. I don't have the fastest PC but you could, it's still playable. Um, yes, um, Third Age Total War is playable e even on the some of the worst PCs. And the, they still, it still works. So yeah, you'll get this pop up. You want to click yes. Okay, welcome to Third Age. You just click next. Next. I agree. Next. Now, this is the default place where it's going to go. Now, if you have the Steam, you would like to click here. And then you then want to click this PC and to your local disk and to program files 86 or 64 wherever you have or wherever you save um, your or you keep your steam apps you want to go all the way down to steam steam apps common and deal to total war if you don't have this mods folder you can add it in okay so you'll click mods I already have these all installed but yeah you want to click just mods I'm pretty sure no, maybe you don't. No, you don't actually. So you want to go to yeah. You just want, I think you just want to put it here. Yeah. So this is the directory for it. It's C program files times eight six or sixty four. Steam Steam apps common medieval two total war mods. Now, as long as you have that, you should be okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna click next as I've already um installed it. So yeah. Okay, so now what you want to do is do part 2 of 2. Now, when you install part 2 of 2, when you put it into the mods folder, okay? You might see the third age folder up here, but do not put it in there. Only put it in the mods, okay? If it does come up with third age, just leave it. I think that's how it should be. 
anyways um if it does come up with um just put that normal directory in the exact same now what you want to do um it might ask you it might overwrite some files you want to click yes if you and if you do not get that popping up it means you might have done it wrong as you need that to pop up that's really really key if you don't get that there's a big chance it's not working but yeah this may take a bit longer this installation so just please wait for it and like always please remember to like and subscribe and um, so here we go part two of two yes next next i agree next now you want to do the exact same put it in the exact same place so this pc local disk broken files times 86 don't mind this i just clicked the wrong folder so okay and once we're in there steam all the way down to steam apps from them here we go and mods and then click okay and this could change depends on where you keep it or where where if you got the Sega edition or if you have steam this is for steam what point are you doing it for steam so yeah this is it it will ask you a little pop up will arrive and say would you like to overwrite now that you would like to click yes if that does not come up there's a big chance it's not um working but yeah you want to click yes because you want to overwrite those files um now if it doesn't pop up that means i'm not very sure about this as i might have changed but it could mean you did it right and it just none of the things need to be overrated but i'm not sure so yeah just follow the installation there yeah i already did it so let's go back yeah now now that all them installed now you want to go to the 3.2 patch like i said the 3.2 patch is not optional i 100 percent recommend you get this it's a very small Download, but it really helps out your game. So you can just read here this, but yeah. Okay, you want to agree? Okay, now you want to do the exact same. So you want to click this PC, local disk, program files 86, Steam, and then all the way up to Steam apps, common, medieval, total war, and mods. So you sort of put it in there, and it, it will o ask you to overwrite because it's a patch. So please click yes if you've not done this right it might not come up but you want to click yes okay then there and then once you've completed that installation um right so yep let me just go to where i keep mine so it would be in uh nope it is in here local disk local pass times 86 for my steam there we go then you want to go to steam apps common the other little wall mods and here's my normal one i'm pretty sure here so you'll then be, be greeted with this now there is two ways to do it please remember this now the first way is you will get this and you can launch it from the third age batch file but it needs to be called the third age 3 not what i've called it normal so i just named it this for i use different types of mods and i've copied them Okay, so this is, it should just say third age three, with the, remember to add the underscores and the capital letters, just should, should just say that, and then if you might get a little icon there, shortcut, and you click that, it will launch it from the third age bat file. If you do not like doing it through the bat files, you can always do this way, which I don't really recommend because some mods get a bit, conf some mods get a bit confused with this. So yeah, you just want to change it to, let's say you want change it with Teutonic, you then rename that Teutonic and rename that something else, like Teutonic 2. But yeah, I 100% recommend you use the third age batch file. I'm not going to click my batch file as I don't think I have a set up yet because I'm using a different mod instead right now. But anyways, yeah, please um leave a like and subscribe and I'll be uh, bringing out more videos for sub mods soon. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'm <laughs> sorry.